Hi, welcome back to Cadible. And uh, in this exercise, uh, we'll be doing this uh, basic block. And uh, this is the fifth exercise of this uh, uh, SolidWorks uh, basic uh, tutorial series. And uh, we'll not only model this block in SolidWorks, but uh, also uh, we'll use the Photo View 360 in the end for uh, rendering. And I have attached uh, its file for practice. So let's start. Uh, just go to new and uh, select part and press ok and now we are in solidworks interface uh, i change my background to plain white and i'll go to let's say top plane go to sketch and uh, first of all uh, we'll sketch this uh, uh, base and the base is uh, let's say 100 by 80 so go to rectangle select center rectangle and uh, we'll sketch a rectangle of 100 by 80 so this dimension is 100 mm and the other dimension is uh, 80 mm. Uh, also uh, we require uh, uh, two radius of uh, let's say 15 mm. Uh, remember uh, we can make these radius uh, in uh, a 2D sketch and also uh, we can make these, uh, these fillets or these radius in 3D uh, using uh, uh, 3D features. But, uh, uh, I'll make it in uh, 2D. So go to uh, fillet, uh, go to sketch fillet, uh, sketch fillet, and select this edge. In fact, uh, this vertex and this vertex, and change it to 15. So fillets are done, and uh, just cancel it. Uh, and now uh, we have to make uh, two slots, as you can see here. Uh, one slot here, one slot here, and I'll make one slot, and I'll use uh, mirror entities option, and I'll mirror the other. Uh, the other uh, slot so let's go to uh, solid I think uh, it's better to cancel it just don't save because we have this uh, PNG file so go to sketch again and uh, I'll go to straight slot and I'll make uh, one straight slot here and uh, the width of this slot is let's say 16 mm and uh, the other dimensions are uh, the center to center distance is uh, 24 mm so this distance and this distance is 24 and also uh, the distance from this uh, this edge to the center of this slot is uh, 15 uh, that is the this distance and this distance is 15 and uh, uh, as you can see that uh, the slot is fixed in this uh, direction because uh, this line and this line uh, is turned into black the sketch is still underdefined because uh, there are two blue lines in fact uh, uh, two blue arcs so we have to constrain it and uh, the distance from here to here is uh, let's say 16 mm and the slot is constrained and you can see that uh, uh, it is fully defined and the sketch is turned into black. Uh, next uh, I have to make another uh, slot so uh, no need to make another slot uh, just use uh, mirror entities tool I need uh, a center line so go to mirror entities select this uh, select this entity uh, that is slot 1 and uh, mirror about mirror about this line and select OK and uh, now press exit and the basic uh, 2D sketch is done and uh, uh, next we have to extrude it to uh, let's say uh, 20 mm so go to features uh, these are uh, 3D features go to features go to extruded boss command and uh, we will select this uh, now uh, note that uh, it is not extruding uh, uh, this contour and this contour so just cancel it and now uh, now it is uh, extruding uh, uh, this and this just change it to 15 mm and uh, we are done with the uh, base of this uh, block uh, next uh, I have to make uh, uh, this side so 
we have to make a sketch on this uh, on this face let's make it normal go to sketch go to sketch and uh, we have to make uh, a corner rectangle select this line press shift and select this line and make it uh, collinear now as you can see that uh, this uh, this line and this line is turned into black that is uh, it is constrained in this uh, in this y direction but it is not constrained in the x direction because this line is still blue as you can see the, uh, you can see that i can drag it in uh, this direction so we have to constrain it and uh, this dimension is 40 mm as you can see so go to smart dimension again and uh, make it 40 so now it is fully defined uh, next uh, i have to make uh, uh, two uh, circles and uh, the dimension of the circle is 24 uh, and uh, i'll make only one circle and i'll use mirror entities tool to uh, to mirror the other uh, circle go to uh, circle and uh, go to smart dimension we have to make a circle of let's say 24 mm and the other dimensions are uh, uh, that is the distance from uh, this edge to to the center of the circle is uh, 20 mm so go to smart dimension again and uh, this is 20 next i have to make a center line for uh, mirror command select this and mirror about uh, this line and uh, the distance from uh, these circles is uh, let's say 50 mm and as you can uh, see that uh, sketch is fully defined because uh, our sketch uh, is uh, turned into black and uh, next i have to make uh, this arc and then this line so go to three point arc and we'll make uh, a rough arc and the dimension of this arc is 20 so go to smart dimension again and uh, make it uh, 20 and uh, next uh, i have to make a straight line and then a three point arc as well so we have to make a straight line go to line and we have to make a straight line and uh, there will be a relation a tangent relation and uh, also i require uh, a tangent arc in fact uh, a tangent arc so i think it's better to make a 3d three point arc so and uh, this arc and this line should be tangent and uh, the center it should be centered in fact just cancel it and uh, it should be in one line so uh, this dimension is uh, let's say 30 mm in fact uh, select this and this and make it in one line and the dimension of this arc is uh, 30 mm and uh, also uh, the total dimension of uh, this block is uh, in fact uh, total dimension is uh, uh, the total dimension is uh, 100 mm in fact uh, just cancel it and uh, uh, go to trim entities and uh, trim this portion uh, go to mirror command and select this and this go to mirror select the center line and press ok 
so uh, we are almost done with this uh, geometry just uh, uh, we need uh, this slot and the distance is 170 mm so just delete it and the distance from uh, this to this is i think 170 mm and as you can see uh, see that the sketch is turned into black which means it is fully defined only we need a straight slot so let's make a slot and uh, the center to center distance is 70 this slot and it's, uh, it is still uh, blue which means that uh, it is uh, underdefined so uh, we have to make it uh, constrained and uh, i think this this is 20 and uh, let's say the dimension uh, i think uh, it is not given here uh, the dimension so uh, that is 70 uh, we have already done this and uh, we have to make an extrusion of 15 mm and uh, this dimension is uh, let's say 30 mm so i think uh, uh, just go to uh, exit and uh, just rotate it and uh, we uh, will go to features go to extrude boss command and uh, just make it uh, reverse uh, remember uh, it is creating a solid extrude uh, which we don't need here and just clear it and now uh, it is uh, it is doing the right extrusion but in wrong, uh, wrong direction so just change it and uh, the extrusion uh, should be 15 so extrusion is 15 and press ok so uh, we are done with this uh, fifth exercise and i think uh, this distance is uh, uh, this distance is not uh, correct here so we have to make some correction and uh, let's go to smart dimension again and uh, just make it 30 and uh, now we are defined uh, now sketch is fully defined and now it is uh, done uh, so uh, that's it for uh, uh, today's tutorial in fact uh, we have to make uh, some renderings as well so just go to uh, add-ins uh, as you can uh, see that there is no uh, photo view 360 option or no uh, uh, render tools option uh, here so go to uh, add-ins and go to photo view 360 uh, make sure to check this box press ok and now uh, as you can see that render tools tab is appeared go to render tools and here you can uh, make your uh, you, you can do your rendering uh, you can do your rendering from here as well uh, in fact uh, first of all we have to uh, apply some uh, appearance or some color to this body and uh, it is uh, somewhat a shade of a blue so we will make uh, some some light material just press ok and uh, we will do some rendering and uh, go to integrated preview and it will take some time to render depending upon your uh, machine and uh, uh, it is taking its time so uh, uh, it is rendered and uh, uh, that's it for uh, today's tutorial uh, you can also uh, you can go to options and go to uh, document properties go to image quality and you can uh, increase your uh, image quality uh, which will slow your uh, PC but uh, it will increase your uh, uh, graphics of the uh, model 
uh, also we can check our dimensions through uh, evaluate command let's say uh, this distance is 100 uh, the, uh, the base of this plate is 100 mm and we can check it through uh, evaluate command go to major and we select this face and this face and it is showing that the distance is 100 mm uh, also uh, we can check uh, this uh, circle go to major again and uh, the die of this circle is 24 mm and the die of the circle is 24 mm as well uh, also we can uh, uh, we can make uh, dimensions uh, as uh, uh, as here so go to sketch tab go to smart dimensions go to reference dimensions and uh, we can make uh, this dimension then here as well uh, that is 24 mm this uh, circle the die of the circle and uh, also the distance from here to here is 100 and it is uh, sometimes it shows uh, inverted dimensions so make sure to rotate and uh, it will automatically uh, correct the, uh, the uh, inversion of the uh, dimensions so uh, uh, that's it for uh, today's tutorial i hope you like it and if you have any questions uh, related to this or any other uh, you can ask in uh, uh, comment section thanks for watching and uh, uh, kindly uh, subscribe to our channel for uh, more videos and uh, we can share uh, our videos as well and uh, thanks for watching